The shadows laid long on the land as he exited the wilderness toward the fort. Fort Nashboro, also known as Bluff Station or French Lick Station, was never a military outpost, but had been built as a settler's fort to protect the community from attacks. It would be finally abandoned in 1794, and already we see that there is little activity at the fort today. As he gets nearer, he sees that there is a single sentry on watch at the gate. After exchanging pleasantries, he states his purpose for being at the fort and inquires after a couple of close friends whom he had hoped to greet before leaving the area. Upon finding that they are away for a spring hunting trip for bear, he concludes his brief visit, salutes the sentry, and heads toward the inner recesses of the fort. Sitting by the stone-lined fire pit are two experienced woodsmen. There is a pot bubbling merrily over the hardwood coals, and a bottle of last year's apple cider sits on the ground beside them. They are discussing the possibility of this former state of Franklin becoming the 16th state of the Union. Hello, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good evening to the fire. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Turned out a mite cool for this time of year, this deep into the spring. I'm a fear. I'm a fear that got to uh, a lot of good apples, and that's just too bad. I enjoy a good apple. I do too. I really like a warm apple tart on a cold winter's day. Yes, sir. Yeah. Any news of Indian attacks in these parts? That depends. It's been pretty quiet around here in these parts lately. Well, I'll be headed north through Kentucky up to the Ohio Territory. I hear the trail is still dangerous around in parts. If I was you, I'd stay off the main trails as much as I can and try to make cold camps at night if you see any sign. Since St. Clair's defeat, there's been more trouble here in this territory. More and more trouble. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep a wary eye out for it. Since we'll be bunking tonight, what be your name, stranger? My Christian name is James of the Bender family. Wayne Murphy. Folks hereabouts, just call me Captain. Captain John Suggett of Virginia. Nice to meet you, Captain. Nice to meet you. Want to spend the night with us here at this fire? Thank you, I've been much obliged. Got some vittles too. I much appreciate that. You plan on going all the way to Ohio without a hoss? Some thieving scoundrel stole the hoss, never did find him. Had to sell the milk cow for these here fixings. What you see is what I got, gentlemen. Had to leave the missus and the young'uns at the cabin. What with the last two years of crop failures and the terrible winters we've been having, going to Ohio seems like the promised land. Well, I'll tell you what, a hundred mile walk in buckled shoes is going to be mighty tiresome. You might consider trading for some moccasins or having a pair made. And again, I thank you for the knowledge, sir. My you know, a man does what he can with what he has. If it weren't for the sale of the cow and what little bit we had left from my wife's dowry, we'd be in want for sure. I agree. You're better off doing what you're doing. I appreciate it. After checking in with the Fort officer and meeting with James Robertson, one of the Fort's founders who was there that day on local business, he heads back to the comfort of the fire and the warmth of human companionship on a chilly spring night. James. Yes, sir. Have a little bit of this kettle before turning in for the night. All right, thank you. How's that? Oh, that's wonderful. Much obliged. All right. Mighty tasty. Ain't nothing better than buffalo stew. Oh, yeah. Ah. That will do, brother. Thank you. Not government beef this time. That's fine. Mm, mighty good. Or is that, is that possum? It's not raccoon. I know that. Raccoon is all greasy and wow, it's terrible. The sky is clear. There's a bright half moon shining serenely down upon them as the evening wind picks up and begins whistling through the walls of the stockade nearby. James, how about some apple cider? Mm -hmm. Go with that. Yes, sir. Hold your cup out there. Say when. Thank you, Tom. Mr. Wayne, you have a little something to drink? Yes, sir. Nice and 
smooth. Mm -hmm. Play cider ought to be. Mm -hmm. With deliberate fingers, he opens the carefully wrapped loaf of bread, willing to make his contribution to the fire and meal, as Thank well you. as the camaraderie they are sharing. Thank you, James. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. As they all eat their fill of the delicious buffalo potato and carrot stew, there is a feeling of contentment that comes over the three men, the kind that has been felt around many such fires for thousands of years. They are brothers of the wilderness, voyagers on this journey, and tonight they are drinking deeply from the nectar of life. Many adventures await just around the corner, dangers upon every hand. They are walking the path of destiny, and tomorrow the path will lead to the rich land of the Ohio where a new life will surely 